Okay, so the evolution of the humble flashing Christmas light. This is last year's version, the A Tiny 13, and uh, you can tell it because it has a current limiting resistor coming out because the GPIOs here have a, a relatively higher amount of current available than the, for instance, the PFS 154. You can also tell it because it's got the 1206 uh, LEDs, which I thought were pretty small at the time, but this year we're going to a 0805 version. And uh, no current limiting resistor uh, because there's not a lot of current coming out of those GPIOs. So all that's happening here is they're Charlie plexing from pin five and pin six, just backwards and forwards, uh, red and green. The, uh, the next stage of evolution is this one that's on the test bed. Uh, so it's got the big dot on it, like this guy here, and that is the PMS150C. Uh, and uh, they're one time programmable only. So you've got to get the programming right on those ones. And I have thrown away a few when I've got it wrong. So a lot of the testing was done on the PFS154 uh, in at around six cents per chip. And uh, now I'm using the PMS150C at around three cents per chip. So putting it together has proven a little interesting. So I've got a bit of a technique which I'm, I'm probably still working on to be honest, but it involves taking some of these old leads from old resistors from other projects. I, I didn't throw them away. And then all that I do is bend them over and then bend the, ooh, that can't be good. And then bend the edges of them. There we go. And then what we do is we line up pins five and six on a little breadboard and sort of pin them in and at the same time use little header pins maybe on the other side here to make sure it sort of stays in place so let's get that in yeah that's sort of pinned down and then what we can do is just tack that in so let's do that I'll swap glasses here and uh, soldering irons up around the 320 mark. So I'll just tack those ends in. Yep, that looks good and good. And then a little bit of solder. I'll just bend that up a little bit. That's it. A little bit of solder along this lead on this side and a little bit along the lead on this side. Okay, so here are our 805s, very small. And you can see the green at one end. So I'm just gonna put that on this side. And then the green on the other side. So I'm not sure which one's red and which one's blue. Come in green, but uh, actually I might tack the other side first, might be a bit smarter. I'm still sort of figuring this out as I go along. So let's get the other side all fixed as well. There we go. Okay, so yep, so the green's going that way, so this one goes the other way. as close as we can and tack that one in as well yep that's good and then on the other side don't want to leave the iron there for too long and back on this side again Yeah, that looks good. Let's do an inspection. And that's stage one complete. All right, so we can now cut this loop off as close as we dare. Nice one. And also there's a couple of pins underneath here which we can cut off to make it a bit flush. And then we will put on the chip. So it might be useful at this stage also to tack this in. And then what we can do is put on one side and then the other. So 
So we'll just put, lay down a track here. And then orientate this the right way. Some of these are marked quite well and some not so well. But I see eight going here, so that must be one on this side. So these have no markings on the top, but they do have a dot, which is all you need. Uh, all, right, all those header pins are getting in the road a little bit. That's not too bad. Let's tap that side down anyway. There we go. How's that look? Beautiful. Alright, so I'll get most of these done while it's sitting here. There we go. Yep, nice. That's good. And this side. On this side, come on. There we go. Nice. And then one more on this side. Let's get that header out of the way. inspection of that guy. And we should be good to go. Nice one. Let's take a picture. Alright, nearly there. So uh, one is VCC. So a bit lazily this year. You see how I connected up last year with uh, the actual um, wire going to one but this year I'm just slipping one over the top if I can get the orientation right there we go so it's a little bit offset see last year it's in the middle but I'm not too fussed about that this year just being expedient I'll just tack it straight into the pin one day there it is and then the other side I just bend over one of these old pins and pop that into eight a little bit of solder maybe just spin it around a little bit there we go, nice. And then bend it round to the ground so it doesn't interfere with those leads. Yeah, that's about right. She might put it on the other side so it holds naturally. Yeah, good one. A little bit of tension there. We'll do. All right, let's tack that guy. Then a battery. And I think we are good to go. CR2032. In. Nice one. So let's just compare the frequency here. I think it's going to be about right. Not that it matters that much, I suppose. But yeah, that's pretty good. So just to line them all up A Tiny 13 version, PFS 154 version, 
and the one with the big glob of uh, whiteout on the top of it, that is the PMS150C, the three cent microcontroller. Wow, yeah, so that's Christmas for 2021. Let's have a look at them on the fridge. Okay, so that is the blue and yellow original version. And uh, then we go down to, these ones are all PFS 154s and uh, various states of grace, depending on um, how I was going at the time with the process. But we get down to these two are actually pretty good. And then finally, we've got the two down the bottom here, which are the PMS 150C versions. Pretty happy about that. Uh, Merry Christmas for 2021. Bring on 2022. It's a beautiful thing.